Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk about animal food. So I'm going to tell you what I use for my pets and show you the brands and stuff like that. Now I'm a big believer on no grain foods. I believe cats and dogs should eat primarily meat, especially cats. Cats are carnivores and you know what, it's questionable. People are saying dogs are omnivores, but you know what, primarily they should eat meat. Wolves in the wild eat meat and so should dogs. So believing in that, I read all ingredients on my pet's food and I want um, meat to be the first ingredient. So whatever is the first three ingredients, that's what is in the food the most. And what I found, now I bought this brand, it is called Feline Caviar, Holistic Chicken with Salmon, Grain Free Cat Dinner. Now this one is good, and I, for dry food, like, it's always better to give your cats moist food, just because it is better. But I know a lot of cats are fussy and they do prefer the, the, gray, uh, the dry food. And I've switched back and forth. I always have a little bit of both. So this one, this one has really good ingredients. It says no wheat, no glutens, um, no potato or tapioca, no hormones, no meat or poultry byproducts. So that, I like that. What's in here, the first ingredient is dehydrated chicken, which is amazing. Chickpea, salmon meal, chicken fat, yeast culture, um, Manhattan oil, sun-cured alfalfa, calcium, uh, sun-cured kelp, FOS, potassium chloride, sodium chloride. Anyway, so there's a few more. Um, taurine, vitamin E, zinc, papaya, rosehip, vitamin C, niacin, yucca, extract, vitamin A, vitamin D, roboflavin, biotin, vitamin B12, folic acid, and potassium proteinate. I didn't want to read all of that, but <laughs> so that's what's in this one. So the ingredients are pretty good. Um, I'm really happy with that. The only thing is, it doesn't taste good, I guess, because my animals, my cats don't really like the taste of it, and they'll eat it, but they'll leave it there and cry for something else. So, I mix it. Because this also, I think it's about a four pound bag, and it costs $19.99, which isn't so bad for like really healthy food. It's an amazing price. So what I do is I buy it because I like what's in it and you know what I'm sure it's like us if we have to eat very healthy it's kind of blah it doesn't taste so good but it's good for us so I'm sure that's the same with that so what I do oops, is I buy another brand called now and I've tried this with them and it's it's good they like it they like the taste of it they will eat it um, so this one is a little bit more expensive though. It's about $40 and it's an eight pound bag. So I mix them and you know, for me, I think I'm saving money and I use this one as my filler. So I don't use corn or, or bad stuff like that. I use a good one with a yummy tasting food. This one's pretty good also. I just noticed, I'm silly, I didn't realize at the time I bought a senior a senior one when I should have bought the adult one I usually do so this one um, the first ingredient is deboned turkey um, the second ingredient is potato flour peas pea fiber whole dried egg and I'm not gonna read all the ingredients but it's not bad and I used to use I've tried a couple of different brands um, one that I liked and they liked for a bit was Blue Wilderness. That's the one with no grain. Like, be careful with blue. They advertise on the commercial saying no grains, but if you if you don't buy the Wilderness one, it will contain some grain, some form of, 
form of grain. The wilderness is there no grain um, part. So yeah, I was using that food and I don't know, I guess it upset their stomach after a while and they were vomiting the food. So I decided to change it and I was looking for different brands and you know with cats you have to gradually change stuff too. I never had a problem with them with this one. The now was pretty good. They didn't get any diarrhea or any upset stomach with that one, so it was pretty good. And also the feline caviar. That one is pretty good too. Now for my puppy, now oh, he's so tiny though, he doesn't eat a lot at all. Um, I make food. See, I also make cat food, which I will explain after. I'm, I'm on the dry food at this moment. So what I did was I tried the now for the puppy just to see how it was. I mean, he'll eat it. He likes it. And it's not a bad food like the other one. The meat is the first ingredient in it, so it's good. But I also make my own. I have a small business, and that's what I do as well. I make my own dog food. So I have the little pellets as you can see, except my food has no preservatives and unlike these brands where you just keep them in your cupboard, you can't do that with mine. You have to keep it in the freezer. So you freeze it and then you give it to them as you go. My food does not have a million ingredients. The first ingredient is meat. I like to use a pork or I can use beef doesn't really make a difference but my my main ingredient is meat and I have about three I have two ingredients and the rest is pretty much what the dog will need and I like it like that I mean my food is baked and you have to I freeze it right away my dog adores it because it's meat it's primarily meat and there's nothing bad in it, there's no preservatives, there's definitely no grains, and it's everything that they need. Um, yeah, so he loves this. He will go, like I, I gave it to him almost like a treat. And right now, since I think he's still teething, he's, he's about five, six months, so he's going through the little teething phase still. I use it for a little treat, and he goes to Gaga over it. And my customers, dogs, that I sell to, they said that their dogs absolutely love it and refuse to eat anything else. So I'm very happy with that. And unfortunately, I will not give you the recipe for this one because if you're interested, just uh, let me know and maybe I can get some out to you. So that's it. That's my little, I came up with it. I researched it. I did all my homework on that and my food's amazing. So that's my dog food. Now back to the cat food. Now with my one of my cats that passed away, he was diabetic and I did a lot of research. That's how I know about pet food, dogs and cats. I did a lot of research. I searched, I looked, and cats and dogs are very different. Cats are very finicky. So, you know, like they'll eat certain things. Dogs pretty much will eat anything. If it's good, bad, whatever, poor dogs will eat anything. So I found a website. I don't recall now what it, what the name of the website was, but it was a veterinarian. And she was promoting um, the raw diet and explaining why it's beneficial for our cats. And anyways, I do agree with this. I think, I mean, if you don't have children that the raw diet is the best food for dogs and cats. That is what they eat in the wild and that is what they should be eating. But unfortunately, because of salmonella, I wouldn't promote it. Um, so the next best thing is primarily meat, but cooked. And I mean, that's why once you cook meat, it'll lose like taurine, it'll lose the vitamins that they need. That's why the raw meat is so much better for them. But if you cook the meats and then you add the vitamins that they need to it, it's perfect. It's just the same. So 
I will include in the description below the recipe for the wet cat food. So pretty much what it is. You have to buy a big, it's the chicken thigh and leg. So you can get a big pack of it and um, you put that in the oven and once it's cooked, take it out and you have to remove the skin and the meat from the bones. So it's a little bit messy. You know, get your hands dirty for this. And once you have the meat, you grind it up. You just put it in a food processor, you grind it up. And then you just add the water and you add the minerals and the vitamins that you need and that's it. So it's pretty simple once you get the recipe. It's a little bit, you know, getting your hands dirty. But in the long run, it's cheaper and it's better for your animal. And they love it because all it is is, is pure meat. So, you know, it's good for them. But I mean, some cats are finicky. They might turn their nose up at it at first because it's new. But most cats just, I mean, because it's meat, they're going to eat it. And it's good for them. So I'll leave the recipe, like I said, in the description. Um, yeah, so that's it. Saves you money if you had the time to do it. It's amazing for your pets. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. And if you have dogs or cats, please read what you're feeding them and try and find if it's not these brands. Because, I mean, there's different brands out there. There's brands in the States that I we may not get in Canada and vice versa. So I don't know what's out there. But it's for you as a pet parent to do your research. Read the ingredients of your dog or cat's food. Don't necessarily listen to your veterinarian because veterinarians want you to buy their food. They make money off of it. And also they're not, they're not which I find so silly, is they're not schooled in the, the nutrition of animals. So they're going to tell you, corn is okay. It's not. I mean, research it. Research how your animals' bodies and even their, their teeth are made. And then it all makes sense. Their intestines, their stomachs. Like it, just research everything and then you're, you're going to see for yourself. But anyways, so read the ingredients. Make sure there's no grains in the food. And then, you know, see how you, it is for your pet. You're going to see. They're going to have shinier coats. If they have allergies, the allergies are going to go away. They're going to live longer. It's way better for your pets. And if you're interested and you have a dog and you want some dog food from me, let me know. <laughs> so that's it. Um, watch my other videos, please. Subscribe. And let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. So that's it. I wish you a wonderful day. And thank you so much again for watching. Bye.